Ready, go. Ready, go. So this is the frontal view here. Go. Uh, in the back swing, your back swing is too cautious. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going down like this. And then do the back swing. You mean to, to start it? And then so you also show the slightly X-shaped uh, leg alignment here. You see the right leg is a... So right knee is coming in uh -huh. a little bit. And then as you uh, start the back swing, you're not really allowing the pelvis to move away. Okay. okay. Because the, the leg is uh, in this position here. Okay. It's hard to move the pelvis away. And then in this position, go to the top and then when you come down, the transition, transition is too quick. Too quick. You're rushing. So back, back swing is uh, slow. Slow and then on the way down, you try to hit the ball with uh, your strength. Mm -hmm. But still the distance is good. Mm -hmm. the, those uh, well hit shots are over 300 yards. So mm -hmm. this is really good. But uh, you need the consistency. Right. You have a lot of uh, low uh, hook. Mm -hmm. okay. So go here. And also at the end, you will see that uh, your body is uh, staying uh, uh, this way. Yeah. Yeah, and then the right leg is flexed like this. Now in the down the line view, you go. So intentionally you try to keep the wrist like this. Cut, uh, bowed. Mm, bowed. And then when it comes down and they try to hit the ball, you it's have a, it's a, the into out pad and then that gives you a really uh, bad okay. hook. Yeah. Yeah. So on the way down here, your hands are coming down low. Right. Because, because of that you have a into, yeah, into out. Into out. Yeah. And then you see. So by the time you reach this position here, right. the stuck elbow, yep. and then because of that, the body has to uh, slide this way, yeah, then really the legs small. cannot really push the ground that well here. Correct. So going back to the frontal view here, yeah, here, at this position, your pelvis is sliding this way right. to keep a space. For the arm. Yes. Yeah. And then first, uh, let's try to increase the speed in the back swing. Okay. Make it more active. Okay. So today what we'll do is that we'll um, mainly focus on the step drills. Okay. And then uh, let's start with the stage one. So the, the two step swing drills, it has three stages. Mm -hmm. Stage one with both feet together, throw the club toward the target and then step away, turn and then step toward and then turn. So let's do it. Uh, you don't have to swing hard this time. Right. Just to try to feel the rhythm. Mm -mm -mm. In the downswing, no need to swing hard with the arms. Okay. Just try to feel the motion of the body here and then okay. let it go. Okay. Uh, 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 you're, not, you're not riding the, the flow or rhythm okay. up here. The trigger motion should be reasonably active and then rhythmic. Mm, and then... Okay. At the end here, you slow down quite a bit here. Then you lose this uh, momentum here. So here, don't try to stop, but uh, make the motion continuous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the goal is to move the clear head continuously around your body. <laughs> the step, the initial step has to be done earlier. So, so before you start the back swing turn, the step has to be done. So here, when you throw the club this way, trigger, then, uh, uh, not yet. Once you throw and then take a step, you know, okay. no, take that step, yeah. step, uh -huh. while still it's here, uh -huh. and then starts the back swing here. The same thing. As you go this way, and then step this side, and then let it go. Okay. Now, 
pay attention to motion of the end of uh, end of the club or club head. Your goal is to move the club head around your body continuously. Not this is not about your body posture. Okay? Okay. Mm, it's too cautious. Okay. Here. Mm, 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 mm. And then ease, ease your wrist. It's too tight. They feel the motion of the club head. They throw, bring it back, and then throw. Mm. Just let it go. Mm, mm. 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 No, no, no. So at the end of the at the end of the back swing, mm -hmm. don't try to intentionally drop this. Do not try to do anything intentionally. Maintain the motion here. If the club head, if the club head moves here, let it go to this position instead of. Intentionally pull the elbow, uh, the pull the wrist, and then try to drop this. Okay. Just uh, let it go all the way. The, toward the end of the action, you are slowing down too much. Use the momentum. The whole purpose of this trigger motion is to make the action really active. Okay. So, using this motion <clears throat> in one motion. Uh, 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 you start, you start pretty much. You slow down quite a bit here. Let it go all the way. And also, this position is now going to this position here. Let it go all the way. Let the clever go all the way. Again, right the rhythm, right the rhythm. Even, no, 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 even when you have trigger motion, you have to push the ground with the left leg. Push, push the ground with the right leg. Okay. So when you're shifting that way, throw in a slightly lean this way and then step. After the step, bring this in. So, oh, wait here. So bring the club head this way. So this is the end of the trigger motion. Yeah. Try to pull this. Yeah, in order to pull, you have to move the body away. Right. And then I will release this at count three, then you pull and the turn, okay. okay? So lean that way, one, two, three. And then this step, the left step is coming from good, right leg push, and then take this step, instead of so like pushing you have to push the ground with the right, right. leg. Okay. Again, throw this way, and with that. Oh, it's too slow, too slow. To make everything really fast. Let's see how fast you can go. Both this one and then back swing as well. No, 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 no. It's not fast. Fast motion means. Again. So this step here, this step here, you are rushing to that step. The step at the, you are rushing here. Instead, push this enough, push it at the end, you are taking this step here. You have to have a good push using the right leg. Again, the, the, the beginning of the back swing was uh, not, not good. So, right, right the rhythm. Throw, throw, and then start the back swing. Mm, still, you are intentionally doing the turn with the arms. So, relax, relax the wrist. Relax the wrist completely. Relax the wrist. So when you throw, this can happen. Yeah. And then throw and wait enough and then going back. That's better. Again.
여기엔 Here, the end of the trigger motion, when you take a step, it's not connected, it's broken. You stop here, and then take this step. You said, hmm, connect everything. Oh, no, 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 you again, stop, stop there. Ooh, it's continuous motion. Yes, again. So in the downswing, you don't need to swing hard. If the backswing is uh, active, downswing will automatically active. So, no need to swing hard in the downswing. Okay, just try to feel the flow. Uh, and then, when you have a big trigger motion here, then you have to wait until this is uh, fairly completed, and then start stepping instead of. Then you have to use the arms. When you turn the body, when you Turn the club, turn the body, it should be from the body, not from your arms. You see, if you turn your body without moving the arms, you can move the club quite a bit here. Okay. Too slow, too slow, back swing is too slow. Make it a lot faster. Again. No, no. Pay attention to the motion of the club head. The goal is to move the club head rapidly around here. So all the timing is based on the club head motion. Let it go and then let it go. Instead of your intention, try to do something with the body. Let it go, let it go, and then let it go. Again, feel the motion of the end of the club, and then let it go around the body, around the body, and around the body. No, 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 no. The, at the end, you don't have the rhythm in the trigger motion here. Mm, and then let it go. This motion should be throwing motion here, okay. instead of, okay. it's not something you intentionally Try to uh, make okay. it's a good throwing action, throwing action both ways. Again, again. Oh, it's too slow. It's too slow, and then you're going here. Use the ballistic motion. Throw. If you throw the club here, you are using the speed from here, and then throw, and then take this. Throw in the distance instead of make it as uh, simple as possible, as smooth as possible. <laughs> so when you uh, throw the club, the body is turned this way, and then you have to shift backward. Okay? No, try to, you, are, uh, you are trying to swing hard with your arms. That's why you lose time. Couldn't you lose time? Okay. Uh, swing the rope back and forth. Continuous. Here, yeah, the key is the motion of the end of the rope. Uh -huh. Okay. And then so give a one big stroke and then start. No, 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 just one big one from the beginning. Yeah. Swing, uh, make it faster in the back swing. Before doing that, keep the hands uh, on your chest. And then shift it this side, this way, shift. 
No, not upabai motion. Shift. The pen is this one. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Just shift, shift. Instead of dropping this side. Shift. Here's the problem. Again. Currently, at your setup position, your pelvis is already biased. Okay. Here. Right. So keep it neutral. Okay. Shift it to the right here. Okay. So your right hip is now placed over the right foot. Right. And then, by pushing the ground, by extending the leg, and then you are turning this way here. Okay. You have to give this much pelvis shift. And then, so with this, you'll be able to maintain this side straight. Okay? So this side straight. Mm -hmm. And then shift the left side slightly, and then turn here. So try to, as you swing back and forth, okay. try to shift the pelvis enough this side here. Okay. Mm, you're not going enough. Go more. So with this, with this, if the pelvis turns it like this, uh -huh. Then you will see that instead of me going in, try to keep it straight here. In the frontal view, the frontal view, your knees should be uh, should appear straight. Go more this way. Yes. Okay. You have to go this much. Okay. Again, this side. Turn this way. Shift to this way. Shift to this side. More, more, more. This is a bent. Okay. Yeah, enough. Shift enough. This side. Here, the, this leg is too straight. Okay. Okay. Always the, the knee should be slightly flexed all the time. Okay. You don't completely lock right. the knee. Right. It's not natural. So right. again, shift right. Yes, go shift here. Okay. Because this motion is very foreign to you. Uh, right. Because you have never done this. Right. Or always uh, your pelvis is uh, staying this way. Right. So the, this leg was going this way here. Okay. But keep enough shift. This is really good. Keep more so that this leg appears. And then you turn this slightly. Okay. The shift to this side. Ah, uh, it's a too, too straight. Easy, 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 easy. And then still just the turn slightly here. Do, do not, <laughs> you don't need to uh, contract the muscles that much. Right. Just right. easy shift to this way, easy shift to this way, okay. easy shift to this way, this way here, again. Relax the muscles. Relax the muscles, just introduce the motion you need okay. instead of unnecessarily right. contracting the muscles hard. Okay. Okay. Easy, easy. Relax, shift the right. Mm -hmm. Go shift it this way, shift the left. And then the pelvis is sliding too much here. You have a tendency of sliding pelvis always this right. way too much, right. but not this way much. So shift the right, left, right, left, right. Oh, the leg is too, uh, too rigid. So you're almost like, but easy, so that you can push, push, push. push. Okay. The key is shift and the push. So like a, uh, let's take a small steps, okay? Small steps, take a step here, lift this slightly, take a small step. Oh, this motion is not supposed to be a, that the, you know, reverse motion here. Okay. Instead, it's a, a smooth, uh, comfortable motion. Just a step, 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 step. Relax the muscle. Only use the muscles you need. Okay, now put the hands down. Okay. Then you will uh, dance with me. Okay. Here, particularly, you have to pay attention to the tempo. Mm -hmm. uh, during the swing, I will increase the tempo. You have to match the tempo to mine. Okay? So go, let's go this way first and throw this way. Throw, throw. Mm. Don't try to in intentionally try to move the pelvis certain ways. Just to relax, okay. easy. And then all you need to do is just to shift the pelvis laterally enough this way here. Okay. 
This way here. This way here. No, no, no. The leg is too straight. It's too rigid. So easy motion here. Swing, 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 swing. No, the, the leg is always going too straight. So he said, stand on this side. And stand on this side. 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 So you have to have the feel of standing on each side. Okay. Not going like this. Okay. okay? So as, you, as we swing the arms back and forth, you will really stand on each side. Go here, and then go here, stand on this side. Go here, stand on this side. Here, on this side. Here. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. And then this side. Tap, 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 here. So you have to have a good shoot. Put the most of the... This is a, a semi stay position here. Okay. So when you shift this way here, you can go more than where the foot is okay. to maintain the balance okay. and then to lift, to be able to okay. lift this. Yeah. So you have to have the, you have to feel that you are putting most of the weight on this side. Yep. Okay. And here the same. Hmm. Hmm. So you need to feel that. So as we swing back and forth, uh -huh. relax. Relax here. You are just swinging the arms, and as you swing back and forth, always try to stay stand on the on the leg yeah. here. So make it now rhythm. Go, go, continuous motion. Oh, just stand on this side. Stand on this side. Stand, stand. So no need to. Push and then try to touch it again. Just the easy one motion go here, okay. one motion go here. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Shift enough, shift enough. And also here, when you turn, when you turn, the heel is lifted like this. Huh? No, when you when you repeat this motion, try to push the ground with the toe here. So it doesn't go this way, okay? So gently push the ground this way, push the ground this way, push the ground this way. So keep the heel behind, okay? Yeah, there, there. And then this is not coming from your arm rotation here. Okay. Rather the arm motion is coming from the lower body action. Okay. So relax here, turn, just shift and throw, shift and throw. Mm -hmm. Make it simple. Make, make the motion simple. You're only shifting mainly. Okay. And then after shifting, you are throwing the hands this way. Shift, shift it that way. Throw the hands out. Oh, no, you, are, you have this weaving action. Let's remove all this. Just make it simple. So shift it this way and then throw the arms and just go this much. Okay. This is all you need. Okay. And then shift, shift. And then throw here. Hmm. Keep the keep the hands uh, instead of going behind. Keep the hands here and here more laterally. Yeah, yeah. So reach out here, reach out here, so as if you have a switch to touch here. So reach out here, touch this, and then exactly the opposite side, touch here. Throw, throw and touch, throw and touch. Oh, no, no, no. Let's eliminate that for the moment. Let's eliminate the recentering motion, okay? okay. We need to have a better shift here. Okay. Shift and then just a touch. Stay there, stay there. And then shift and touch here. Shift, touch, shift, touch, shift, touch. Hmm. Yeah. So now what we are doing here is when you shift from this position, uh -huh. when you shift, you have to go backward uh -huh. because the body is turned this way. Right. So almost you are moving backward uh -huh. uh, and then turn here okay. instead okay. of having weaving motion. Yes, 
So slightly backward uh, shift and then turn around, backward shift and then turn around, backward shift and turn around, backward shift and turn around. But still, you are moving, doing this with your intentional arm motion here. Kill this, and then just use the, uh, let's, let's put this. The same thing, although your hands are here, have, uh, ima imagine that you are reaching out and touch the switch. This is ultimately because this is uh, because you are moving your hip backward too much. Okay. So that? when you move your pelvis, your hip is going backward too much. That's why you are going here. Okay. Instead of bring the pelvis up okay. more this way, you have to bring the pelvis up. Yes. And then the same thing here. Stand up on this side. Yeah. Standing up on this side. That kind of allows me to so now let's swing the arms here. So start from this here. Mm. Throw this. Throw. 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 No, 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 no. You are just turning everything here. He said, throw the arms. Throw the arms here. <laughs> no, no, no. You are not throwing. You are not throwing your arms. So throw the arms instead of. Yeah, so uh, as if you have uh, something here, yeah. shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay. Relax the arms and shake off. Yes, throw this way, throw that way, throw this way, throw, both ways, throw, throw. Mm -hmm. Yes, so instead of you moving your arm, go up here and then try to turn this way, uh -huh. just a throw. Throws. Okay. And then this throwing action should be supported by the low body. But what, what's happening right now is uh, your low body is moving too, too early and then try to do this. So time is off. Okay. Throw. Throw. You have to use the leg push to promote this throwing action. Yes, now is better time. Yes. Throw this way, throw that way, throw this way, throw that way, throw, 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 shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. This way you can better time the leg action and the upper body turn. Okay? Yeah. So instead of mm, and then try to rotate yeah. this, yeah. Mm, then throw. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like deep programming, just because like, you know, some instruction you're taught, you know, like push back, you know, your, your legs and your boots. Yeah, so this motion is coming from this leg push, and then throw, uh -huh. leg push and throw, leg push and throw, uh -huh. leg push and throw, is there a push? Uh -huh. When this happens here, yeah. the leg motion and the upper body turn are not working together. Yeah. And that's what I kind of noticed with my walk I slow, especially face on, is just kind of, kind of lackadaisical, the lower body looks. So, yeah. now relax, and then regardless of the size, size of the motion, mm, mm, small one versus bigger one, throw, 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 throw. Now, with the rope, the same. You are throwing the end of the rope both ways here. It's not about big, big, big arc here. Yeah. Throw this way, the leg all the way. Throw this and let it go all the way. Okay. Yes. 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 Now the timing is better. Always both ways throw. Even in the back swing, throw in the back swing direction. Down swing, back swing, down swing, back swing, down swing, back swing, down swing. 
And they shoot the, uh, shoot the pelvis enough. Shoot the pelvis enough. Now we are going to this position here. Shoot, throw, shoot, throw, shoot, throw. Make sure you shoot the pelvis enough so that this leg straightens. Gently push the ground. It's not like this, but push and then at the end you have to have a good push and then bring this up and then push this up. Mm -hmm. Why the, the opposite side for this? Why? That's no, 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 no. So stand up on this yeah. side. Yeah. Stand on this side. Yeah. Okay, stand. And then the left word. Right. Right. And the right. Yeah, the keep the this foot is keep moving backwards. What? <laughs> pushing against it? <laughs> pushing it on. No, you are gently pushing it with the toe here. Okay. And then the main push is actually coming from the side you are shifting. Okay, okay gotcha. So this is the main force here. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then this is also helping it. So this starts this motion by pushing this way. Right. And then later you have uh, this push. Now throw the rope both ways. Uh, make it longer. Make it longer. Make sure you throw the rope both ways. Uh, in the back swing, you have to throw a bit faster. In the back swing. Uh, that doesn't mean that, that should, uh, it's a that snappy here. Look at this. When I say faster motion, still the motion should be continuous. Okay. Yeah. Nice, slow down, let go. At the end, nice, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So motion should be all connected. So you have good speed up, slow down. Right. Speed up, slow down. Instead of a snappy yeah. motion. It's got like a pencil right now with fast motion at the bottom. And also on the on the way down, your right arm is really active. It's a two dominant. What happens is you are pushing the rope all the way in with the right arm here. But the right arm action, from here, throw, throw, instead of push all the way. Here. So if you use one, one arm only, throw, throw, instead of throw, throw. Part of the reason why you are shooting the pelvis a lot this way is because your right arm is going all the way in. So you have to throw it. Yeah, throw it. Throw it. Okay. Make sure I'm holding it. Keep the right arm a bit uh, more flexed here, the, the elbow flexed here. Instead of going high up here, then you tend to use the arm here. Flex elbow here and then just to throw out. Flex the elbow and then throw out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, so you are just developing speed here. Throwing it by using the speed here instead of dragging all the way here with the right hand. Keep the elbow flexed a bit more. Right arm, what the right arm does is fold it and then extend it. Fold and throw. Fold and throw. And 
And then now left arm only. Yeah, so try to throw it. Throw. Both. Throw. 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 And then here. On the way back, you have to have a good winder from here, throw. Right. In order to emphasize the throwing action here, you have to have a good winder. Using the wind F throw instead of go up here and then shift the this and then try to use the arms here. The reason why you are shifting the pelvis a lot and also arms a lot is because your backswing does not prepare your body enough. That's why. So you have to have a good wind up using the wind up throw. Wind up throw. So at the end of the rope, at the end of the rope we have a gum. Okay? Stick uh, sticking. Gum? Yeah, you need to check it off. Okay. Yes. By throwing. Mm -hmm. Using the wind up, and then using the body shoulder turn and then throw, shoulder turn, throw, shoulder turn, throw. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay, so instead of dragging all the way, not so good the turn here, but try to slide and then try to use the arms instead. Okay. But wind up and simply throw here. Mm -hmm. Throw and then finish here. Throw and then finish here instead of dragging all the way here. Yeah, that's good. It's probably a good thought, just come at the end, just get off. Yeah, it's a bit sticky, so uh, unless you shake it off, Right. Try to shake it off. You cannot uh, let it go. And if I'm only dragging it, that's mm. When you drag it, your motion may be big and then rigorous, but you don't give enough speed to the end of the box. You cannot shake it off. Gotcha. The, remember, the gum is a, a bit sticky, so you have to let it go. Yes, now. The reason why uh, your shot is uh, inconsistent is because uh -huh. you try to shift a lot, slide a lot actually. This is called the pelvis slide. Yep. It's coming in here, stuck, and then... Yeah, yeah. But if you go here, wind up, and then let it go and hit the ball. Let it go and hit the ball. Uh -huh. A lot more consistent. And then still in the back swing, you need to have a good leg action. Push and then push. Mm. Drop, drop this side a little bit and then push and then turn. Yeah. Instead of Second. throw, instead of going like this, right. the, right side. the back swing, good wind up, the throwing action has to come from leg action. Throw. Right. Right. So for that, try to shoot as much as you can. You can. This way. Don't be afraid. Okay. If you can, that's, what, that's what I'm afraid about. Is usually sw swip, uh, shifting over too much that I can't go over to my left if, side. If you can swing continuously, that means you have control. So you're coming back. Okay. If you go far here, then you will come back here. No problem. Okay. So just to try to shift as much as possible. Okay. See how far you can go. You already slow down quite a bit here, and then try to use the arms here. Use the shoulder, wind up, and then throw. Is there a Okay. Okay. The reason why you slow, slow down when we're doing the stage one, you slow down quite a bit, because you try to use your arm to go down. Instead, use the shoulder turn and then throw the arms. Now, put your right hand on your belt, and then just use the left arm, wind up here, and then try to throw the left arm. Ah, it's not throwing, it's just the swinging, turning around. Throw! So you, so you should feel that all the blood is uh, 
Yeah, push the tool on your fingers. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then the shoulder has to turn faster. Shoulder turn and then let it go. Let it go instead of. Okay. So during the back swing, you have good wind up. Build the tension and then yeah. unleash it. Yeah. Build the tension and then unleash it. Usually when I see it's like my back swing, when it gets like here, my arms kind of take it over, and then I lose. That's why you, you lose your body motion, and then just you try to uh, do the swing yeah. with your arms. Okay. You are still strong enough, but the reason why you have inconsistent shots is because always slide a lot and then try to use the arms. Okay. Okay? So you have to develop body rhythm. Mmm, let it go. Mmm, let it go. Mmm, let it go. Mmm, let it go. And then here, it stops suddenly here. Okay. The left arm stops suddenly here. Right. That means that you put a lot of effort here, and then abrupt to start. Throw from here, Probably. using the speed, this speed, and then throw, and then slow down. Okay, so it's like okay. Yeah, so the finish motion should be smooth and slow down. Yeah. Yes, like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, use, use, use the wind up, use the wind up. The wind up, the shoulder turn, instead of using the arms in the try to throw here. Wind up, so that yeah. put this shoulder in here, and from there, by throwing the shoulder first, and then throw the arm. Okay. So the throwing actually should come from the shoulder turn. Right. Okay. Use the shoulder turn and throw, yes. Mm -hmm. So when this happens, the leg push and the shoulder turn will be at the same time. Uh -huh. So your leg is really promoting that uh, shoulder turn. Okay. Again. Mm -hmm. Now both hands. Both hands still throw. Throw and then, oh, you start. Throw, throw in the nice finish. Throw in the nice finish. Throw in the nice finish. Hmm. So again, go to a stage one. So when you do a lot of uh, isolated uh, Muscle uh, recent training, then you lose the uh, coordination of the joint motions. Okay. That's why the motion becomes uh, broken. Okay. So again, feel, try to hold the hold it in the middle of the grip. Just, uh, yeah, too long, about there. Okay. And then the wrist motion yeah. is the pronation supination of the forearm. And then. Have this motion here. Okay. So use the wrist nicely, okay. natural instead of holding it okay. tightly here. You have to have good wrist motion to promote the color motion here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make it continuous. Make it continuous. No, no, no. So. Mm, mm, mm. Take the step. Take the step. The stage was no, it's a stage one, stage one, two steps. Ah, the the trigger motion too big in there here, and then the timing was not right. So this motion is continuous here, right? right? And then let it go. And yeah. then in between these, you have to take the step at the right timing. But your steps are basically interfering with the, the colorbed motion. So the colorbed motion should be continuous. So, mm, mm, mm. Is I, it, I feel like when in, when in the, uh, just like the, where's the club positions? So here. 
The bottom line is that your leg action should uh, help the upper body turn. So on this side here, mm, 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 left leg, right leg, uh -huh. so left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Uh -huh. So the leg action is leg action is actually promoting the okay. turn here, right? right? So timing should be controlled. Okay. But currently, your leg action and then the turn are all all over. Again, oh, just one cycle of the one cycle. Yeah, stage one. Repeat each cycle. No, instead of going that way, yeah, just yeah. start this way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, again. So you go up here, and when you take this step and then do this uh, right. backswing, it's all arm driven here. You're not using the body turn here. Body turn. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Still, because your shoulder is not turning enough, enough, you're going about here, okay. and then use the arms here. Okay. It says turn, turn the shoulder to bring the club around your back. Okay. The shoulder turn has to drive everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again. This initial trigger motion, it should be throwing action. Throw and then using the rhythm, let it go, instead right. of. Okay. This is part of the whole rhythm. Okay. Uh, in the trigger motion, you're going like this. You're not turning the shoulder. Mm. Turn the shoulder yeah. Use the body to move the club. The club motion is not coming from your arm action like this, rather, turn your body. Turn the body, turn the body, and then turn the body. Turn the body instead of using the arms only. Ah, still, still it's not turning enough. So your, your trigger motion is actually too big for that the shoulder turn. So let's keep it about here, about here. Okay. Okay? Again. Ah, it's going too, too far up. About here. Reach out here. Reach out and then. So, so with this reach out, reach out and then you're shifting backward. Again. Oh, the, the motion is too cautious. This has to be a one-piece motion all the way. So, mm, mm, let it go. Mm, mm, let it go. No, 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 no. From the beginning, from the trigger motion, it's too cautious. Let's make everything fast. Fast motion this way, fast motion this way. Right. Give me your fastest motion. See how 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 fast you can go. Make a, make motion all the way really fast. It's too cautious. That's why you cannot get the rhythm. Make it fast enough, and then let your instinct figure out the rhythm. Again, yeah, that's good. Ah, so again, second time already slowed down. Why? Make it fast both ways. Crazily fast. Yes. Now, the advantage of this fast motion is that it just eliminates all the thoughts you have. Yeah. Yeah. No need to worry about it. Yeah. You all, think, all you need is to throw this way, throw this way, in the reverse direction, and throw this way. I think what happens is I, like, I use my arms and I turn enough for the trigger. So make, make the motion fast. If you make the motion fast, your body automatically responds to that. Okay. And then you will start using the ground better. Okay? Yes. So all you need to do is have really active backswing with that active downswing. 
Don't worry about anything else. Yes. And then make sure you throw it. Throw it. Shake off the gum, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, slow down, slow down. Part of the reason is, uh, this is uh, something you have to actually check, but uh, your clavet uh, is too heavy. Okay. I have to measure the, the values uh, with the machine, but uh, it seems it's too heavy, so. Now again, it's a speed emotion. Don't slow down here. Yeah. Make everything faster so that you don't have time to think anything. Right. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. Again. So in order to have really active backswing, you have to use your right leg actively. But this action is coming from right leg action. Okay. So if you use the right leg more, right. it's easier for your upper body. Okay. But if you try to do everything with the upper body, then it puts a lot of burden on your upper body. Again, so adjust uh, your, the, the whole swing to that fast motion. So just make it faster. Make it faster. Yeah, that's really good now. Yes. So when you have faster motion, then the transition here is a lot better. And then here, you don't need to intentionally drop the club head or do anything. Just uh, preserve this motion here. Let the clip head go in the stop here, uh -huh. instead of intention to try to do something here. Okay. Okay? Just pay attention to the clip head motion. Let it go all the way around. All the way around, then the clip head will be here, instead right. of in extension to try to drop it with this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can see how. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the clip head on your left side. Now, currently your second step is too early. So what happens is go here and take this step. It's too early. Yeah, you take this step, this step, and then try to do something here. That's why it slows down. Instead, go here, step, and then let it push. Push, and at the end of the push, you have this motion. This step is coming from good push from the right side. Okay, instead of here, yeah. mm. push, and then take this thing. Ah, okay, it's a, it's the same story. So you really need to stand on the right side and then take this step. Yeah. Okay. For that, you have to let the pelvis go away. Again, shift the pelvis as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, again. Uh, the motion slow down here. Slow down. Fast the fast the trigger. Ah, uh, slow, 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 slow. Uh, if you repeat this again and again, simply you will tire yourself. Uh, you give me give me the motion I want. Fast the motion. Uh -huh. And then let's move on to the next stage. So fast the motion all the way. And then shift it this way too much in the downswing. If you have fast the motion here, so let just uh, let it wind up and then unleash instead of here to try to shift it this way a lot. Actually, this foot has to push the ground down and outward. So this will help your body leaning backward that way. Okay. Push this way here instead of sliding quite a bit there. Okay. So just uh, wind it up, wind up, right. and then slide recentering to right. the center here. From here, just to turn around instead of slide. Yeah. So imagine there's a wall on this side. So you don't shift it this way too much. You don't slide the pelvis this way too much. 
So while after winding up, after winding up from there, just initiate. Just initiate. Feel the tension and then release it. Slow it down, slow it down. Because the motion was slow here, then you try to intentionally put effort in the downswing. If you put enough effort in the backswing, downswing automatically becomes active. Again, make it continuous, make it continuous. So imagine this. Continuous motion. <coughs> ah, 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 slowing down. The, the, the first step was uh, late. The first step is late. Then instead of making this uh, trigger motion big, make it, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, a bit smaller. When you, say, when you say that, you mean where my back swing? No, 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 the trigger motion. Your trigger motion is too big and slow here. This just the causes all the trouble. Hmm. This trigger motion is to make an active backswing. You have to use this to make right. an active backswing. Right. So just uh, that much. Okay, only about this much. Okay. And, then, and then turn the body. Right. With that, you can turn back. Aha. As you turn, as you turn, you're already going this right. way here. Turn, it. stand on the right it's side, the right and side. then you shift will. backward. Yeah. You're shifting backward. Yeah, yeah. You have to turn it. Like that, like that, like that. So make it all continuous. But still, it's a bit too, too early. So here, go. Mm, when you have enough turn with a good push, with this, by the turning, with there, you are shifting backward. And you shift backward, still turning in the backward direction. As you recenter, you are still turning in the backward direction. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh, this time he was too short. So you use the arms. So the, the bottom line is you just give enough trigger motion so that you can use the body turn to initiate the backswing. It's a, it has to be body driven backswing. Use the good wind up, using the wind up, let it go. Okay, ready, stage one, go. Ready, stage one, go. Stage one, go. Now the Flow is a lot better. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to your initial swing. Uh -huh. Not much leg action. It's all from the upper body. Now, but the only thing is that from this position, uh -huh. just to let it go instead of yeah. trying to. I think that's going from just making sure I'm getting a good shoulder turn. Shoulder turn is good, but on the way down, you still tend to uh, have a stuck elbow issue here. Now, this is down the line view. One, go. Good. Here, you see, on the way down, how you are bringing the hand here. Go up here, and you are coming this way here. Right. Just uh, let it go. Okay. From here, uh -huh. let it go. Because uh, we're using the trigger motion, with the trigger motion, your hands are traveling this way here. Right. Then let the hands go back. Okay. Instead of go here, and then, Try to go like this. Uh -huh. Again, yeah. So in the back swing is coming this way here. Right. 
Uh, simply... It seems like too much shift. Simply go back along this right, line here, right, instead right. of dropping it here. Right. Because of that, you are dropping this, so that's why you are right, going this way. So yeah. now... But isn't that probably the product of when I get to the top, like I'm starting to shift too much? Yes. Yeah. It feels like or I stay on that right side, and then... It's, it's all connected. So you don't have to intentionally shift because you are shifting too much. If you have a good shift away and a slight recenter, just try to turn right. from here. Right. Instead of shift. shifting right. a lot. Right. And also, if you pay attention to your hand motion, from here, right. the hands are going this way here. Right. They bring the hands back along that line. Right. Instead of right. coming inside. Right. There it goes. So uh, bring the elbow in front of your body. Okay. So again, stage one. Remember, go up. Once you have this uh, wider position, just from there, by kicking the ground, just to turn around. Right. Don't try to introduce That's any additional uh, shift this way. Yeah, yeah. Just to turn around, turn around. I uh, still just came in this way. You have to, in a sense, you have to let the hands go out slightly more. So that throw, remember, fold the elbow and then throw. Throw that elbow goes in front of your body and then let it go. Here. Okay. okay. So here again, go up here and then throw, mm. and then turn around the body. Turn around okay. with that. Ah, uh, the back. The trigger is slow. Mm -hmm. uh, slow, 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 slow. And then make it uh, all uh, continuous motion, single continuous motion. So you are using this motion to have active back swing. Using this. The <clears throat> uh, that's also rushing. You are intentionally doing some things, but yeah. Imagine this. If your goal is to move the club head fast around like this, uh, like this, then here, throw. <clears throat> Mm. <coughs> Using the body, you are turning the everything. Okay. This is the arms. Okay? And then, on the way down, make sure you are following back okay. along the same uh, path here, instead of dropping the hands quite a bit. Yes? Now, the swing plane is slight outward. So I will stay on this side, try to throw the club to me. That means you have to turn this way more. Turn this way? This way, this way. Make the swing pad a bit inward. Uh, now we don't need this because uh, you are not hitting the ball. <laughs> so if this is the square, right. the target direction, right. I'll stay on this side, try to throw the club to me. This way. If the hands drop here, it's hard to turn this way. Okay. You have to let it go out right. and then turn this way. So on the way down, come this way and then turn around here. Uh, it's still too low. Your hands are coming here. But let's go up. Let's go up here. Yep. From there, bring the hands here. Right. And then let it go here. Okay. Use, use, uh, relax the wrist and then let it go here. Okay. So the hands has to stay up. There should be some space here right. instead of dropping down. 
that if you do that, you don't need to slide this way. You only need to slide this way when you try to bring this down. Yeah. So if you are, your elbow is going around your body, then you don't need to slide the left. Just a, just a turn around. Turn the body around. Again. Ah, to, again. So at least you should not worry about all this. This should be automatic. Mm, mm, then throw this way. Mm, mm, throw this way. But here, the motion should be fast enough. So then you have to uh, pay attention to the curved motion, whether it's uh, square to the target or whether it's going outward or inward. If you feel the club is going outward, then you have to adjust it, right? So you have to know what your club is doing. Right. So again, pay attention to the curved motion. The goal is to move the club head around your body and hit the ball. Right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, in the trigger motion, in the trigger motion, you are going like this. Yeah. Your wrist is quite rigid, so what happens in the trigger motion? You are going this way here. Then this will naturally keep the flat back swing here. Okay. So go here and then introduce the pronation of right forearm. Go this way here, and, and, and then bring more this way, and then let it go here. Then okay. you will go a bit steeper here. Okay. If you go here, the club head is away from the swing plane, then they pull it in, then you will go flat. Yeah. Okay. So you have to pay attention to club head motion. Ultimately, the goal is to move the club head around this plane here, along this plane, right? right. This right. is the motion you want, and then let the club head go. Okay. It's not about okay. what your body wants, but it's about the club head motion. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how you let the wrist go. Yeah. You have to allow the wrist to move naturally. That's not a problem. It's not like a... So you have this awkward uh, bowing position here, uh -huh. dropping the clever down here, right. the sliding the body a lot. Yeah. All these are interrelated. But the key is you have to move the club head around the path you want. And for that, you have to give wrist motion so that you can easily come up with that. Yes, 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 that's really good. Yeah. Yes. So now, if you let the wrist go around, uh -huh. then no need to bring it down here. Uh -huh. Because you are, you are trying to drag it with the arms. Uh -huh. That's why you bring it down. Yeah, right. But when you let it go and allow the wrist motion here, yeah. then it will naturally go around your body. Yeah. Yeah. No need to have this stuck position. Yeah. Yeah. For some, you know, my modern teaching a lot of times you feel like if I do that, that's bad. You know, I let the wrist roll over. So here's the concept of a uh, uh, flat spot near the impact. So you don't want to change the face orientation near the impact. Right. And you try to keep going like right. this. Right. It actually promotes a severe into out swing. Right. If you do it right, then it's perfect. Right. But in general, you don't restrict the wrist motion. Right. The wrist is uh, the main source of uh, mobility. Right. I think it's like when you saw a tiger, you know, you look at it like in 2000, if you look at it like down the line, as opposed to impact, it's like this, right? It's not like... Yeah, when you start to rely on your muscles, then certainly you try to intentionally try to manipulate the color motion. All that, but let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This is, this is uh, mechanics. You know, right. So, uh, right. Yes. So when that happens, no need to uh, yeah. bring this down. Yes. So if you promote the good wrist motion at the end, let it go here. So drop the clip here. Right, and then here, and then let it go. Right. 
Yeah. You have each wrist the motion. Stage one. Ready, stage one, go. So, ready, stage one, go. Yeah. Let's compare the two down the line view. Uh, this one and the, the previous one. Okay. Stage one, go. So, Is this the latest? Yeah. Versus this one here. One, go. Yeah, it's stuck. It's jamming in. Mm, you can see it. This is the last one. Yeah. When you let the wrist go here, yeah. there's no reason to come this way. Yeah. This way. Instead, let it go around you. It's, and by not letting the wrist go, it just, you don't have that weight. Moving along, the like pendulum to set it in the right spot. I feel like if I keep it, like so if I keep it, if I keep it rigid, then I just get flat. And then this is actually a bad image here. On the way down, this is a really bad image. Right. This causes all the stuck elbow and then slide here. Yeah. Because the hands are leading too much here. Yeah. And then, and then you have an into out swing here. Out. Stuck elbow and then severely outward swing. So instead, uh, yeah, instead let it go right. around, you, around your body. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you turn this way enough, then let the clever go around your body. So in a sense, because you are strong guys, so you can use your wrist well. Yes. So really, the shape of action is coming from the wrist action near the impact. Right. It's up, and it's like it's, hap it's like happening. Like. And, the, and the, as you use the wrist better, yeah. the swing becomes easier because you don't have to uh, yeah. do this. I, so it's just here and then go. Yeah. I think that's the problem. Is like by not having letting the wrist go, it screws up the sequencing. And then that's when he gets caught yeah. So when you use the wrist motion, then this is even easier. Mm. Let it go, let it go. But yeah. now uh, let's go to uh, stage two. Yeah. Stage two will eliminate the first step. Yeah. So start with the slightly narrow stance, so just just to keep room for uh, the second step here. So throw uh, without yeah. step, back swing. And then step toward and then back. Mm -hmm. And then let it go. Yeah, now the color and pet is a lot better. And the pet is a lot better. Mm -hmm. Make, make the trigger motion, the backswing faster. Uh, <laughs> the key is the active backswing. Active. Make the backswing as fast as possible. Yeah. So when you have fast the backswing, using the momentum, let the clavet go. You don't have to worry about anything because the, the right. man, momentum will bring the clavet here. Right. Then just the reverse the direction and then let it go. Yeah. yeah. So the swing motion. And I think. I think also. I think I was constantly slowing down, constantly active, by overswing. But I think by letting the wrist go, it just sets it on the right, the right yeah. plane. Yeah, the wrist motion at the end here, nicely. Yeah. So body driven turn, and the add arm motion, and then wrist motion at the end. On the way down, body, arm, and then let it go. So now, if you want to swing hard in the downswing, then you have to have really active backswing. Right. Using active backswing, try to swing hard in the downswing. So show me how fast you can go in the backswing. Using good wind up, and you are throwing the club. So during stage two or? Stage two, stage two. 
and have really active action. Okay, let me record. Okay, ready, stage two, go. Ready, stage two, go. Stage two, go. So still the first step is a bit too early, but um, so go here. Here, still, still you see the tendency of uh, stack yeah, elbow here. Right. Yeah. So you have to really let the elbow yeah. go away from your body and then extend it. Fold here and right. then extend. Right. Remember the rope swing with oh. one arm here. When you when you swing this, you actually try to throw it. So this one, throw it, the elbow is here, but when the arm extends, then elbow will clear the body. So this is uh, too far back here. You, you have to keep it or, or this way here. Okay. And then bring this in front of your body. And then let it go, let it go. If you keep it flexed too, too long here, right. then still you have that problem. Right. So if you look at the elbow motion, from this position, from this position, on the way down, naturally it has to be extending and then reach this impact position. Instead of trying to go all the way here, right. and then later try to do something. Yes, it's coming. Yeah, so particularly when you use the rope and practice, then it will be. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, instead of yeah. all the way here. So here, let it go, let it go. So fold it, fold it, and then extend it, let it go. Fold and then extend it, let it go. That way your elbow will go in front of the body. go uh, turning this way too much, turning this way too much. So just let it go. You're turning this way too much. Still, that means you're still dragging. Okay. Currently, you're throwing the, the rope this way. So try to throw the rope this way. So use the wrist the same way you use the club. So go up here and then use the wrist and let it go. Mm, and then let it go. So think that uh, you are flipping the wrist here. Okay. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you flip it, when you flip the hand, uh -huh. you have the impact here. Then let's go here and then flip in and keep going. Well, keep going. Well, so then here, so your hand will follow the, the rope, right? Because uh, the, the end of the rope catches up. Now it's moving ahead here. So let it go, okay. let it go. So the flip has to happen about here. Instead of go all the way in here, then try to do this. So you have to find the right timing and then simply let it go. Now the club, so say two, say two. Use the wrist motion well, so that you don't have to drag it a lot. So all, it all depends on where you want to extend your elbow. Go up here and then on the way down, if you extend the elbow here and then let it go, uh -huh. then already it's uh, well straightened here. Okay. But if you try to extend it about it's here, late. then it's too late. That's something you have to work on. Okay. Okay? But uh, already we fixed, uh, not completely fixed, but uh, 
we improved the elbow, the stuck elbow problem quite a bit. So use wrist motion. So if the wrist, if you use the wrist well, what, it, what happens is all the way down, the hands will go slide out over here and then nicely turning this way and then hit the ball, right? Uh -huh. But if you keep dragging, right. then it has to come down yeah, and then hit the So again, uh, but uh, we improved the stuck elbow problem quite a bit. Yes, yes, yes. Then now you can, you can hear that uh, you're really throwing the club head. Yes. Now let's go to stage three, no step. No yes, step. Sir. But still maintain the trigger motion. Okay. Again, the goal is to have active backswing, fast backswing. Okay. No matter what, you still have to have a fast backswing. The trigger is too small. The trigger is too small. Too small? Mm. Make, it, make the trigger a bit about this high. And then use the body when you do the trigger instead of just using the arms. Okay. So that you can really use the trigger motion to uh, promote active backswing. Uh, the backswing is not that fast. Make it faster. Make it faster and then throw the club head all the way here. Mm -hmm. yeah, always swing that way, okay? Make it fast enough. And then use the wrist well. Mm -hmm. Again. And then as you swing now, as you do the stage three, try to have a bit of uh, up and down motion. The feel of up and down motion here. So up, up, and then up. So have okay. a little bit up and down motion instead of going low all the way. Okay. Again. Mm. A good body rhythm is coming from actually from the vertical rhythm here. Okay. So up, up and then up here. When you have good up-up motion, in between the, the ups, you have good unweighting, so you can drop the body for okay. the next push. Correct, yeah. So it's up the next so push. up-up motion means uh, push, 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 push. Between the pushes, or make you have unweighting. Again, make it, uh, make it rhythmic. Rhythmic means a little bit of up and down motion. The vertical rhythm is the backbone of uh, the entire rhythm. Okay, now let me record this. Ready, stay three, go. You will, you will be surprised uh, to see how rhythmic your swing is now. Okay, ready, stay three, go. Stay three, go. Stay three, go. Compared to uh, your initial swing. The, the, the flow is like that. Yeah. But the only thing is that at, at the end yeah. of the back swing, you will see that um, so as you go here, your right leg is straight. Right. And the US pelvis, the hip is moving backward too much. Okay. Yeah. It's, instead of standing on the right side here, really loading onto this right side here, you are simply doing this. You have to really stand on the right side. Yeah. And the turn around the right hip. The right hip serves as the, yeah. the pivot. It's, instead of like turning, the so elbows don't do that really. Yeah, so instead of, instead of, uh, instead of uh, moving yeah. the hip back, back in the complete, start, uh, complete straight leg here, and then in this position, rather stand on the right side here. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. That's the field you need to know. You need to have. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. With this this posture here, right. and then this right arm is relatively low, and then you have this posture here. Right squat. But if you go standing on the right side, yeah. then just pay attention to this continuous motion of the club oh. head. Yeah. You, you don't have to do anything intentionally. Yeah. Currently, this is your top position. This is too straight. That means right. the hip is, uh, and, then, too far back. and yeah. then the right leg is not supporting your body enough. Okay. You need to have a good weight support, yeah. or the push from the right side. Yeah. yeah that will that will give you good natural. Uh, yeah. Recent yeah, like I can just tap like this only. Yeah. Hmm. Now, but but the rhythm is a lot better. So this is actually a good start. Since you you are local. Uh-huh. Then practice this a lot, and then let's do it another session. But now, stage three, mm-hmm. and your regular swing. So uh, imagine that there is a ball there. Okay. So you use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. Okay. And then do the regular swing. Okay. So pretend the ball's here. Mm. Okay. Uh, use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. Have the pre shot routine of stage three uh-huh. and then do the regular swing. Right, so let's do stage three, then sh- the Yeah, two, two swings. First the stage three yeah. and then your regular swing. So once you feel that rhythm, then go to the, the ball and the regular swing. Okay. Try to maintain similar rhythm. Active back swing. Active back swing using the momentum of the club, let it go all the way. And more importantly, see if uh, you are doing s- similarly between the stage three and uh, your regular swing, whether you are doing something similar or different. Okay. So it's always important to pay attention to your stage three swing and uh, your regular swing right. and see if you are really taking advantage of the rhythm in your regular swing. Okay. Active, active. Uh, Stage three, yeah. good throw, and then fast back swing. And then maintain that rhythm. Still so, uh, it's arm driven here, fairly arm driven. Arm driven? Yeah, it's because uh, you're still not using the right leg enough. You're not standing on the right side. That's okay. why. Now. So when, like obviously I don't have that benefit of that trigger. Hold my hand. Okay. Hold. And then try to pull this hand here up. And then as you do, no, if your pelvis, if the hip goes backward, you cannot really yeah. use your, no, yeah. come, come close. Right. Shift this way. Yeah. Uh, shift this way and then turn around. No, if, if your pelvis, if your, your hip goes back here, Too much. and try to pull, you put a lot of burden here. Instead, right. go this way. More right. stand up here. Yeah. It's got a instead of yeah, instead of moving the hip backwards, try to move right. it upward. Right. And the keep keep the keep the hands closer to the body. Just to turn the body by using the right leg. You're pulling my hand. Yeah. So here, when you pull my hand, you are not using the right arm, but rather you are using the right, the right leg. Right leg. Yeah. Again, shift first. Shift that way. Mm-hmm. Just a shift enough, right. and then pull. So when your pelvis shifts enough, it's a lot easier to pull. Right. Yeah. Right. Go go that way and then pull. Yeah. Shift and then pull. Turn. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Yeah. 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 That's what you need to feel here. Okay. So you can use an elastic band. Okay. Put the elastic band under your left foot. Okay. And the holding it here, and try to pull it up. Okay. And then in doing that, yes, shift enough, and then try to stand on the right side instead of moving the right hip backward. Right. And then on, it's not going out here, but just pulling it. Okay. Move the shoulder up. Move the shoulder up here. Right. So shoulder up. Pull the shoulder up like this. Yeah. Then you have a good support from the right side. Yes, yes, yes. That's what you need to feel. But because you tend to go flat here, right. it's hard. Yes, yes, like that. Yeah. Okay. So I, I need uh, that kind of action here. Okay. okay. 
So it's three in the regular. And also in the regular swing, when you start the regular swing, yeah. you have to have shift first and then turn here, okay. instead of just using the arms. Okay. So as if uh, you are pulling the, uh, the, wire, the, the, the cord uh -huh. to start the low mower, right? So shift first here and then pull. Okay, sure. got it. Stay three and the regular. So before you start the back swing, your body is already moving in rhythm and motion. So you don't start from this stationary position. But before you start, you have a little bit of body motion here and then start this. Yeah, something like that. It's called the body trigger. All right. Okay. Stay three. And then regular. Let's practice this. This is called the uh, stage X. So you will repeat this swing back and forth. Mm. 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 Swing. Okay. So let's have uh, three, three triggers here. Three triggers. So one, ooh, two, ooh, three, ooh, let it go. And make everything c continuous. Okay. It's called the stage X. And the trigger is just kind of keeping it like this. And then you have to connect the, the last back swing, the last wind up and down swing. Here, you have to swing it like this. Okay. Using this wind up instead of. So you're using the last wind up to do a really fast down swing. Okay? Again, three times, three triggers. One, two, three, wind up, and go. Yes, connect, connect everything. Yeah. So again, three triggers. It's called the stage X. One, two, three, wind up, and go. So that way you can connect everything. Now here we'll give a a modification here. Okay. As you repeat this, intentionally put more effort in the back swing and then come down slowly. <clears throat> come down slowly. <clears throat> so downward motion, the, the trigger motion, downward motion is slow, fast the back swing, slow, fast the back swing, slow. So here, one, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> three, <clears throat> there you go. So do that. Three times? Mm, three counts. So one, ooh, two, ooh, three, ooh, let it go. No, I don't see that. <laughs> both are slow. Yeah. The motion, the both, uh, both, both directions slow. Yeah. Instead, here, yeah. one, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> three, <clears throat> and then here only limited to this. This right, right. Don't go this far here. So in order to have active motion, you have to use the right. And that, that kind of reminds me of that elastic bands, right? It's like elastic bands. Yes. So using only this much trigger, and then try to right. use the right leg right. and pull it up. One, two, ooh, three, ooh, let it go. Okay. So try to uh, make the back really active, downswing easy. Yeah. They have a little bit of a vertical rhythm. Instead of just a, just a turning, mm. push this side, push this side. Mm. 
You have to, you should have that. You should have that. But uh, yeah, you, you are missing the vertical rhythm. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, the, the trigger is too big. Oh, the trigger is too big. The trigger is too big. So the trigger is coming this much. That means you are using the arm swing to generate this motion. But if you limit it here and then try to have really active action, you have to use the leg. The key is to uh, awaken the right leg. Right. So connect the, the last uh, wind up and then down swing better. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot better. So activate the back swing. Activate your right leg in the back swing. But still, again, in the back swing, it should be more rigorous using the leg action here. So throw here. Mm, so one, mm, two, mm, three. Mm. I think, being back of my mind, I'm thinking I'm going to hit the ground. I guess it's like if I kick off, I create that space for the flow. So in order to activate the, the right leg, what should happen is that from this one here, Drop this first and then push. Right. Then it'll be easier to uh, so use the leg. Like. Yes. So in order to do this, then you have to shift. Right. But this whole thing should be continuous. Again, you lost the rhythm here. So here, if it's too slow, then you lose the rhythm. So the whole thing is one motion. Let it go. And then, so uh, between the, 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 the each set of a trigger, still you have to have a reasonable connection. So overall, you have a certain rhythm. They use the leg action to control the rhythm. Down, up, down, up. Still here, because you are controlling everything with the arms. Then what happens is uh, after this action here, you are controlling this motion with the arms here. Instead, go up and then drop it. Go up and then drop it. Go up and drop it. Because the body is controlling everything. Instead, of try to control it uh, with your arms. Three, ooh, let it go. Yeah. So if you can develop this rhythm, then it'll be a lot, uh, a lot easier. And this will be really useful. Okay. But somehow, uh, are you a good dancer? Decent. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the way you move your body, I don't think you're a good dancer. Okay. So you need to uh, feel the rhythm more. Okay. So from now on. Uh, play music and try to walk like this. Always push, push, push. You have to feel the rhythm. And again, stage three with a good overall rhythm. Mm, come back. Mm, come back. Mm, let it go. So you have to develop the, the whole rhythm. Is it stage three? No, stage X, three triggers. So, ooh, come down, ooh, come down, ooh, come down. So if you can actually develop this rhythm, then it'll be, it'll be. Yeah. So this is real specifically stage X. Yeah. Now let's go to stage three, okay. one trigger, okay. again, Small trigger here and then active back swing. See how it goes. So one trigger. Oh, is it too big? It's too big, it's too big. The trigger about this much here. With this, 
with this, instead of using the arms here, go here, they're using the body and the activity. So let's do this. Three trigger, three triggers, one trigger, and your regular stream. Okay. Now this is three step approach. Initially to a stage X with the three triggers. Okay. The second one is a stage three with one trigger. Right. And then the third one is your regular stream. Okay. So stage X, do that three times, stage three, and then regular swing. And then in doing stage X and stage three, emphasize the back swing. Small trigger motion, the active back swing. Stage three, uh, no, stage X. no, let's 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 put it uh, this so way. Stage, stage three X. triggers, one trigger, and then no trigger. Three, ooh, let it go. Ah, slow, slow, slow. The reason, you know, the reason why we did the three triggers, one trigger is because we want to activate the leg. But in the regular stream, you're not doing it. So here, again, initially stage X with the three triggers. Swing. So to the final swing. And then stage three with one trigger. Mm. <coughs> Swing and then regular swing. <coughs> you have to maintain the same rhythm, particularly active back swing with the right leg. We are awakening, we are trying to awaken the right leg. So, so stage X. Stage X. Mm, come down. Mm. Uh, 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 these should be connected. You don't just stop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, and all the way here. Mm, all the way here. Mm. So the accent is on the right leg action in the back. Right. And then action to the downswing. At the, the third one, to the downswing. Okay. Full stage GX with the three triggers. Again. And then stage three with the one trigger, but still emphasis on the backswing. The trigger is too big. What trigger? Mm. Again, small, small trigger. Uh, small trigger. Small trigger. Small trigger. This much, and then. You're not using the body. Yeah. If you control the overall rhythm, instead of okay, using the arms here, use the body. So. So if you if you can do the stage X stage three and regular with a good rhythm, then it'll change your swing completely. Okay. Yeah, still still when you do the back swing, you are trying to use the arms here. But it should it should be coming come from the body and then throw, throw the throw the club in the back. Yeah. So using the leg action and the throw the club around your body. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a lot better.
to let the clap head go all the way. Yeah. Okay, no need to hold it here. Yeah. No need to control this here. I think that's the key for me, is if I see the club like that, mm. I feel like that's So using it. the leg action, just throw it, let it go, instead of trying to control it. Yeah. That was a really good. But you still need to develop this body rhythm somehow. Then stage three with one trigger, but small trigger in the active back swing. Uh, that's not that active. That's not that active. So one trigger, small trigger, but in the back swing, use your body. Yes, yes. And then body, and then your goal is to bring the clavet all the way here again. That was better. Yes, yes, yes. Now, in the regular swing, you have to have a similar body motion, and then let it go all the way. Yeah, you can go a bit faster in the back swing. So, if you look at the overall flow, what we are trying to do is uh, basically uh, develop your body rhythm here. So, mm, 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 mm. Swing, yeah. mm, mm, swing, and then mm, mm, swing. So when you do the regular swing, although you don't have trigger motion, you can have slight body motion. Still the same count here. Mm, mm, swing, right. mm, mm, swing. Yeah. So without the actual club motion, you can still move the body similarly. Okay. That's why you need to develop consistent rhythm. So the goal here is when we do the pressure routine before the regular swing is to develop the rhythm. Faster, 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 faster. Use the leg, kick. So this is something you have to work, work on a lot. You have to keep working on this, uh -huh. so so that you can do this without even thinking. Uh -huh. Okay, right. and then at, at the same time take a dance class. Dance class, yeah. So I'm practicing this on my own. How I know if I'm doing it correctly versus not? Um, you can take a video okay. and then send send it to me. Okay. Yeah. Or. Um, you, you will tell. You, you'll be able to tell. So uh, currently, uh, you have enough distance, but right. actually, I recommend uh, less distance, but more consistency. Right. If you can hit the, around 300, right. you, need, you don't need more. Right. About 300, and they have really consistent shot. Yeah. Okay. For that, you have to have good body rhythm here. So then, you don't slide the body a lot. This is not stuck here. Yeah. So it's just easy motion. Let it go. Throw the hands toward the target. Throw. Throw. Yeah, with this motion, that letting go, you'll eliminate all those uh, bad uh, hooks. Yeah. So Low hooks. Okay. Yeah, you're on the right side. Yeah. I think that's a new, con new concept because I was still con like, think consciously going on my left side. And so the, yeah, and also you have to let it go all the way just in one action here. Let it go here. Instead, try to do something here right. with, with arms. Let the clavet go in the air, the actual this wrist motion, which promotes this clavet motion here. So th the goal is to bring the clavet here without any obstruction. Right. Nice and slow down to this position. Instead of try to do something with your arms here. Right. Okay. So let it go here. Let it go here. Uh, yeah. Let it go. Yeah. And then with that, uh, you can have this reverse field posture. Yes, 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 yes. That, 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 that.
Yes. So now the, the back swing and down swing are better connected. Yeah. If you are letting it go. Yeah. But if you intentionally try to manipulate yeah. the color motion with the arms here, you use the arms and then try to go here, arms and try to go here. But see, instead, it's, it's, let's go. You see at that end, that's a lot of noise there, so it bothers me. Is at the end, like, I hate to come back over and put something like that. Yeah. So, Particularly when you relax your wrist here, you feel the motion of the color head. Right. Let it go all the way. Let it go all the way. Right. Let it go all the way. Then you don't have to. Right. Do this. Right. Yeah. So it's like. Do not fight. And then let go. Let go the. the let the color head go. Uh, again, you are trying to swing the club with the right arm. Yeah. Instead of uh, go up here and then try to swing the club with the right arm, fold it here and then throw, fold it and then throw, fold it and throw by using the body motion. Hmm. Okay. Instead of try to go up here and then try to swing all day. You will be able to feel the motion of the color head. Ah, both hands. They give enough wind up and let the color head go. Don't fight there. Yes. So all you need is have enough wind up and reverse the direction and let that go. Yeah. Uh, you feel it. You really feel the club head, like from this point. Yeah. So when this goes enough, then there's no reason to do this. Right. Right. But if you, you don't go enough then and then try to drop it, then you have to slide. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're, you almost feel like your body laterally stays stable and you want to close. Let it go around your body and then throw around, throw yeah. around. So. Yeah. So just to connect everything. Now, let me recall the, the whole thing. Stage X, stage three, and the regular. Okay? So say, stage X at the end of the three triggers swing. Mm -hmm. And then stage three, small trigger swing. swing and, and then, then regular three. swing. But in the regular swing, you just a little bit of body motion before you start the back swing. Okay. Ready, stage X, stage three, and the regular. Go. Stage three. And the regular. Okay, ready, stage X, stage three, and the regular. Go. Stage X, stage three, and the regular. Go. Stage three. And the regular. The floor is a lot better. Yes, initially you have a little bit of uh, body motion, yeah, the... push me, and then start. And then still keep an active backswing. Right. Active gaze backswing, and then is connected to the downswing. Okay. okay. So uh, you're a bit uh, too cautious there. Now the down the line view. Stage X, stage 3, and the regular go.
what we see in the in the downtown view is that when you swing, uh -huh. the actual the downswing, you are dragging it too much. You sting. The right. Yeah. The so right. go up here, and then you have to let it go here right. instead of. Right. Imagine in bowling. Right. In bowling, you have the right. the, the approach to the ball, and then throw. Develop the speed here, right. and you just throw right. it instead right. of. Right. You don't do this. Right. Right. Yeah. I think the feeling is just staying on my right side. And then here, develop the speed here, and with that, just let it go, throw, instead of right. drag all the way. That's why this gets in here. Uh -huh. So, as if. Um, so. Hold my hand. And then when I want to push you forward here, what I'll do is uh, my body will go for, first and then try to throw like this. Right. Okay? Uh, instead of instead of just hold on to it here and then try to drag it all the way like this. Right. Yeah. 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 Here, develop speed here. Right. The, let it go. Right. Once once the club hits the ball, they just slow down. It's okay. There's no reason to keep, keep doing keep this. Okay, yeah. So here, go up, you're down, <coughs> throw. Yeah, 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 got it. Try to throw. So instead of dragging, when you try to drag, then you naturally try to do this. So that's something you have to manage to keep. So we have a long way to go, long way to go. However, however, your rhythm is getting better now. Actually, if you see the initial swing and then the last one, <laughs> yeah. it's very different. But uh, what you need is, is uh, having a clear image of what you want to do. So this is the initial swing. Yeah. Because you're <coughs> going this way here, yeah. going into this it's position here. Movement like near the right side. Now the last one here. So it is important to understand that if you have a, uh, some sort of a wire uh, weight, yeah. uh, then you have, you have to pull this way here. Right. So if there's a machine, then actually uh, the wire runs this way here, okay. pulling it this way, <clears throat> instead of pulling this way here. So here, uh, we'll go to the stand on those and then go to the, uh, the top back. So stay there, stay there. If I'm holding it here, right. then you try to, when you try to pull it down, what do you need? Go ahead. Yeah, so you have to, early on, you have to put good effort here by using your body. Right. And then when that happens, you will be able to generate enough speed, and all you need is just to let it go here. Right. Let it go instead of. Try to drag all the way. So if you don't put good effort early on, then what happens is you have to put the effort uh, toward the impact here. So here, go to, go to this position here, and then from here, Bring this down here, and then throw. So once we hit the ball here, from, from this point on, using this motion, you keep moving the club. Instead of right. turn a lot and then try to introduce this motion. Currently, you, you are okay. turning your body too, too, too long. Yeah. Okay? You're going all the way here, and then try to do this. That's why it's uh, here. But. Then you don't have to turn this way a lot, and then just to throw it. Okay, so, so you have to put more effort uh, early on in the downswing, instead of dragging all the way. I try to, here, instead of bringing this right hand down here, uh -huh. try to move the left hand around your body. Okay. And then, 
keep a good pronation, supination, then throw. So this is something you have to work on, okay? But the thing is, uh, first, try to uh, practice this uh, body rhythm a lot. Uh -huh. So at least this can be done without even thinking. Right. Then we'll be able to work on uh, the, the downswing phase. All right. Next so, time. So like say, daily, doing for like all the stages, say one, two, three, X, swing, and hold do you? I recommend I work this price every day. Just keep it uh, under 30 minutes. Sure. Okay. Just, uh, and then you can have um, a wall here. If, uh, if there is a wall here, then turn and then touch the wall. Turn and then touch the wall. If you have a narrow hallway, okay. it'll be perfect. Touch this side and then touch this side. Touch this side. So as you, as you turn, you have to really shift the pelvis as much as possible. Uh, shift, the, shift the pelvis as much as possible that way. A lot here. And then come back slightly. This is okay. Uh -uh. But here, not this motion here. Not this motion, but rather shift already. The top, and then shift and shift and instead of the lower body actually has to help the upper body turn. So you have to uh, time the lower uh, leg action to uh, promote good upper body turn. And then make it lighter here, make it lighter. And then shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, kick, 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 kick. Yeah, currently you are not kicking the ground, but rather just uh, go all the way here instead of Kicking the ground, kicking the ground, kicking the ground. Develop this up and down. Yeah. Go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Uh -huh. Emphasize the up motion. Okay. Then between the ups, you already automatically have down. Got it. Okay? So keep working on this. Okay. Thank you.